Well, hello. I've been missing for a little while, been busy. I'm gonna film some videos tomorrow, but uh, <laughs> I thought I'd give you an update at least on the garden. And who knows, there's uh, interesting weather in the forecast for tonight, so the garden may not look like this anymore. Uh, I'm gonna go in reverse order. I'm starting on the north side of my house, and we're just gonna go reverse of how I usually do it, just for fun. So if you remember this bed from when I was, uh, I was going to use a gimbal for this too, but uh, it's not charged as it turns out. But anyway, if you remember this bed, it was just a mass of weeds. So I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, the stepping stones all came with the house. Some stuff died. But anyway, I got it cleaned up. As long as I keep at it, it should be fine. I got some uh, hollyhocks coming. I don't think any on this. I don't know. There's some buds on this one. Anyway, this won't be... Oh yeah, that one has buds too, huh? This won't be the most exciting. I use soaker hose here because it just wanders too much. Uh, did some edging since you last saw this. Uh, I may use a little Roundup in the cracks, but... Uh... Anyway, this, I did some cleaning. I might attack some weeds a little bit. But I think this one, because of the mint, I'm just going to wait till this fall to properly clean it. Uh, I want to let the mint grow and kind of take it over. You know, any hollyhocks or whatever that wants to grow there is fine too. And loving my air conditioner. I have probably mentioned this every summer, but... <laughs> it's got the uh, compressor and everything outside. So it's very quiet inside. It's very efficient. Uh, it replaces one almost twice the size because I used to have a portable air conditioner and got rid of it, put this in. So much quieter, so much nicer, and it keeps the house cooler. And on the really hot days like we had this week, where it got to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or what's that, about 38 degrees Celsius, yeah, it's kind of nice that it's not running continuously. It just kicked on. That's how it sounds outside. Now let's hear it inside. Pardon my mess. Keep it a little low because it keeps the rest of the house cool too. But much quieter in here than the old one. And some damage to the fins from the hail over the years. To the east side of my house. That tree got to live in Pennsylvania for a while. It's looking pretty good. That tree was a volunteer. Sprang up right next to an old stump that's rotting away, finally. We have a balloon flower that comes up every year. Some lavender, finally, that worked and didn't die. Let's look closely at it. Lavender that didn't die. <laughs> Uh, we've got some kohlrabi, which I'll be harvesting probably, I don't know, another week or two. Dill. I'm kind of hoping dill and, uh, dill and lavender. I don't know if they go together, but I'm kind of hoping they take over this bed. More kohlrabi. Peppers. More peppers. Uh, chives down there. Um, I should trim them up and not let them go to seed, but you know what? is what it is and here this is a torch uses leds to make a nice display at night and here uh, these are called medusa peppers i guess not to eat just to be pretty in this bed petunias there should be something exciting going there soon uh, more petunias and irises that are done I need to figure out how to get the grass out from between them. I might actually have to use some kind of spray. Not Roundup. <laughs> this here is one of the spikes. I had moles here in the last summer. It took me a while to realize what they were, but anyway, they won't come back, so that's something. There's the famous Toyota Camry, 24 years old and still kicking. Uh, this bed that I don't know what to do with, I'm just gonna keep it trimmed for now. Call it good. And then these, oh, and a huge weed that I haven't noticed till now. But these uh, 
whatever they are. And we go back to the regular garden. There used to be two stumps, one where there is a stump, the other one kind of where the torch is. And uh, the garden was started just between them. It grew and then it shrank. I'll show you the shrinkage here in a bit, but let's look at some whiskey barrels. No whiskey in the house, sadly, but anyway, growing. I'm probably gonna have to water, but I'm, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll water anyway, storm or not. And then here, my squash are coming up. This is a southernmost bed. Further along, a few straggly beets. I finally felt safe to weed it. Yes, I'm running my drip tape. I love how the drip tape just slowly drips it into the soil. And I think that's Swiss chard. And that's all that came up in this bed. You know, as many weeds as I killed, you'd think, <laughs> you know, something else would have come up because there was all kinds of beets down here, but you know, what you gonna do? Uh, over here, uh, a squash, big plants, and I need to start my second planting of beans here, but the first one is good and I can probably weed between them now. Um, I always kind of wait because I don't want to uproot what I actually want. Next to the stump here. Uh oh. Oh, no, yeah, uh oh. <laughs> so somewhere I had either rutabaga or turnip planted, and I hope I didn't kill them. But anyway, this is whatever I didn't kill. Again, I need to weed. There's beans. Different kind of beans. Maybe I did the rutabaga and. No. I did them in two different rows. Shoot. I'll bet in my weeding I did kill them. Doggone it. Well, at least I have beets. <laughs> One or two. And then here, oh, that piece of drip tape is a little frisky. Uh, what's left of my cucumbers, because a lot of them seem to have died. Another uh, squash. Squash. This is probably my best growing squash right now and I got to get in there a little better with the hoe and deal with those weeds a rhubarb that's you know this time of year and the mole oh what's that where's the mole hills well he moved out here by the alley then he moved a little further away so I'm hoping I'm encouraging him away but anyway uh, fancy squash <laughs> got all kinds of peppers I, I think I need to just pick these and encourage the plants to grow because they're very small yet you know this is not even worth eating same with this one so we'll just take them out encourage them to grow bigger that one looks like he needs some water so we're going to have to encourage him to Get a little water. Maybe I'll have to water them myself. You know, the by capillary action, this will get over there. At least that's the plan. And then another one of my fancy LED torches. Peppers. Ground cherries. And a whole bunch of tomatoes. I need to figure out how to get the grass out of my asparagus bed, too. Ugh, what a mess. Grass is a pain. Spreads. Good in the lawn, not so good anywhere else. Speaking of where I want it to spread, this was a bed of the garden. I used to grow borage here. Then it quit coming up. I went up to weeds. And I decided, well, why don't I mow it? So I've been mowing it. And uh, I'm going to move those compost piles in to kind of even up the ditches and things that are left, you know, a legacy of the garden. And, uh, yeah, here's my other whiskey barrel. Yeah, still decluttering, but it's a lot less now. That's only out of the garbage can because it doesn't fit in it. But, yeah, more of these, whatever they are, and uh, lemongrass. And then here, I don't know, a few years of mowing. Oop. Oh, new digging. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> but, anyway, here, 
we'll level it up a little with the, those piles and then uh yeah hopefully if i keep mowing this the grass comes in and this will be lawn in a few years because it's just too shaded or too dry because of these trees i think and i did prune up this choke cherry quite a lot well or what is that an ash a little bit so I have two other pruning projects left. One is this lilac. Um, maybe you can see why. Try not to show the neighbor's house. And uh, yeah, I got one out front also. It needs the same work. So that's my garden as it is right now. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. And uh, I've actually been filming a little bit during this time, just not pens in use. So expect regular broadcasts to continue next week. And, uh, yeah, talk to you later. Bye-bye.